I'm going to look at the angle subtended by the chord of our circle at the centre and at the circumference. And I'm going to use the software geometry expressions. Here's my circle and here's my chord. The angle subtended by the chord at the centre is the angle CAD. And I'm going to constrain that to be, no, define it to be theta. The angle subtended at the circumference is CBD. If I ask geometry expressions what that angle is, it gives me it as theta upon 2. Now, I would like to prove that using geometry expressions. So if I'm going to prove it, I need to get rid of it. And the one trick to this proof is to add the line AB. With that line present, we can specify the angle BAD. We'll specify that to be phi. Now, given that, what is the angle BAC? Geometry expressions can tell us that. It's 360 minus theta minus phi. OK. In order to compute the angle CBD, I'd like to compute the two smaller angles, CBA and ABD. So let's go for this one first, ABD. Again, geometry expressions can tell us that that is 90 minus phi upon 2. Hmm, why is that the case? Well, because A is the center of the circle, AB is the same length as AD. So the triangle ABD is isosceles. This means that the angle ABD is the same size as the angle ADB. And that size has to be 180 minus phi all divided by 2, which is, as you see, 90 minus phi upon 2. Using the same logic, the angle ABC has to be 90, uh, has to be 180 minus 360 minus theta minus phi all upon 2. And geometry expressions can work all that out for us quickly. And we see that that's minus 90 plus theta upon 2 plus phi upon 2. So when we add ABC onto ABD, we see that the 90s cancel out, the phi upon 2s cancel out, and we're left with theta upon 2.